Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, it's RJ and this is once again Ultra Report. Today we're going to be talking about the new show and all the fun little rumors that were attached to it because there's quite a few of them. Starting in chronological order, around the end of February we had Ultraman Falcon and the initial leak said that he would transform using another fusion gimmick and he'd use something called fusion discs. After that kind of died down for a couple days, we got Ultraman Signal, which also used the fusion disc thing, which was kind of a red herring, that one was also fake. Then we got Ultraman Bright, who was meant to be the son of Ultraman Taro, the student of Ultraman 80, and also came accompanied with this very obviously fake looking silhouette. And then finally, the cream of the meme itself, we got some sight filming photos, sight, set, you get what I'm saying, I'm speaking the king's English. Anyway, reports from filming say that they saw two young men, one wearing a red outfit and one wearing a blue outfit, both chasing after what looked to be a monster. They said that the fusion gimmick this year is not really fusion, it's more of a horoscope thing. One of them was themed after a crab and one of them was themed after a fish. So Cancer and Pisces, respectively. Or just maybe it's an under-the-sea Ultraman. Who, who can blame them? Crabs are cool, I suppose. This is the one that seems the least likely to be absolute bullshit, considering there's two pictures to back it up. And we have three copyrighted names. We've got Ultraman Bull, I guess. Ultraman Russo. And who could forget the classic, Ultraman Lube. Finally, we have the one piece of information that is absolutely not fake. Yesterday night, we had the Televikun scans leaked, and it shows this thing. Actually, it shows him twice. We have a pretty weird-looking Ultra with normal-looking eyes and a normal-looking color timer. But if you look very closely, you'll see that he's actually Triple Fighter. And also he's got some nice big shoulder pads and some arm knives. So interesting design take, or at least it's interesting based on what we can see. For all we know he's just wearing a big hat and it's a fake out. Speaking of fake out, we've also got a few people saying that the other names might just be red herrings. Since Subaraya knows we've been watching the copyright bot for the last few months. So only time will tell. The magazine scans also only show one Ultraman, while the copyright shows three, and then filming said there was two of them. Believe what you want. I personally believe that it's probably not going to suck as much as G did. Just let a poor optimistic man hope, please. So to boil everything down into its simplest terms, just wait. Even if Televikun doesn't show off the new Ultraman next month, the toy catalog scans will. They don't really have much of a choice on that one. That just leaks. That's fate. So even if it doesn't show off the three new ones, for all we know there aren't three new ones, at least it'll show off one of them and probably his new forms. I'm really hoping we don't get a third fusion show in a row. It was cute when Orb did it, it was really lame when G did it, and it's probably going to be even more lame when this show does it. Even if they repeat the gimmick, as long as the story isn't as astronomically terrible as G's was, we should be off to a better start. As a final little tidbit to cap this episode off, the Jeed movie accidentally leaked, and it's dubbed in Chinese, so you can't really hear any of the actors' performances. But it is floating around the internet if you feel like watching it. I think it's pretty good.